Our September Homes and Interiors sale hosts a very wide range of different animal related items. Um, and the first one here is right at the beginning of the sale. He's lot number 10 and um, it's a nice pig um, leather footstool. Generally these are made by Liberty. Uh, this one is unmarked so it's just in the manner of. Um, but he's absolutely pristine, really nice and um, I think he should be a few hundred pounds or so. Really popular things those. Um, another interesting animal related item right near the beginning of the sale, lot number five. A nice little hare, so he's painted spelter. He's painted all, all over. And this is a match striker. So you leave your matches in there and then when you want to strike one it's right on the tail. But that's a nice unusual little thing, probably 50 to 80 pounds or so. Some really nice advertising um, items as well, including lot number one, which is, um, I'll just pick it up for you, this huge optician's sign. And that's all gilded um, glass back mirror. Really nice. Don't usually see one that sort of size. I think the estimate on that is about three to 500. Um, just coming around the, t the main start of the tables here, um, we've got a good selection of various taxidermy. Obviously some people love it, some people hate it, it's a bit of a Marmite subject, but um, for those that do really like it, there's um, all sorts of things. We've got seagulls and crocodiles, alligators, poor little hawksbill sea turtle here as well, who's seen better days. and. Even a leopard at the back here, a leopard skin rug with a full head, a cormorant, badgers, and even over here we've got an ibex as well. Look at that, magnificent horns on him. And a lovely old beard. <laughs> Talking of beards, we've just been looking through a few different um, photograph albums. Look at this. So lot 552 is a leather bound family photograph album and it's filled from cover to cover with all different Victorian portraits. Look at that. Just marvelling at the beards that these um, guys seem to have. It's just amazing. Looking back at all of these um, family photos some really good images. Look at the tash. And that's completely full of portraits in that one. And then right next to it here we've got a 48 which um, we had a lot similar to this a couple of months ago. Um, so it's a massive group of different daguerreotypes these are called. So they're in individual um, hand-pressed leather frames. And we've got some tin types and amber types. These are all early photography. Looks almost ghost-like after a while. And there's an entire box full of them here. Look at that, massive quantity. And frame surrounds in there as well. Glass fronts. Really for someone who'd like to restore these sorts of things. I think the, um, the lot that we had a few months ago made a couple of hundred pounds for a similar sort of quantity, so that should be an exciting group to look to watch. And what, what else have we got? This here is a really nice Chinese uh, jar and cover. This will be Kangxi period, 19th century. Um, and it is, it is cracked, but that doesn't necessarily mean the end of it nowadays. People really actually like to collect um, even damaged porcelain, especially Chinese. Um, so if you have something um, Chinese at home that you think might be potentially worthless, well, definitely um, we can try and help you out and you'll probably find that it's actually worth a lot more than you think. I think the estimate on that is about two to three hundred. We could even make up to a thousand, I reckon, um, depending on what the day is like. Uh, we've got plenty of other smalls here to go through, but I'll let you um, sift through those online. We'll just have a quick look at some of the furniture downstairs. So the first lot in the basement is lot 2500, which um, is this lovely 
antique bed. So it's just the, the head um, board and the footboard that we've got here. So you need to make up some um, side rails and slats for it. But the work on it is incredible and it's extremely heavy as well. Um, and it's carved all over. I'll just show you the, what the headboard looks like as well. In the right sort of setting, in the right house, that would look absolutely incredible. I cannot remember what the estimate is, but I probably believe it's something like three to 500, which is an absolute steal for something like this. So if you've got the right house for it, that could be yours, but definitely worth watching that one. It's really nice. All these little details, like a little hearts in here as well, sort of Gothic crosses. And 1623, that one's engraved as well. Just a really nice bed frame. And then so much other stuff that we've got here. There's tons and tons of it. This really caught my eye as we walked in. Lot 2630, uh, an original Victorian leather button back Chesterfield settee. And the bonus about this one is that this arm drops down. So if you wanted to sort of lounge out and recline on it, then all you need to do is um, pull a knob down here and, and it extends all the way out. But it's lovely. Um, well, it probably used to be green, but it's obviously been sun bleached at some point in the window. But it's a really good um, leather sofa, that one. This is quite unusual. One right next to it, 2631. And that's um, a brass framed vitrine cabinet for a display shop and it's Art Deco in look that one with the sort of geometric stepped sides to it that's nice and unusual um, this is quite a nice table as well tons of nice furniture in this sale 2528 look at that Victorian rosewood circular table with really nicely carved lion paw feet as well such good quality. All of this furniture here, you, it's lasted over, uh, well, I'd say 150 years or so. Just wouldn't get that sort of quality again in today's furniture. Um, what else have we got? God, there's so much stuff. Garden ornaments, we've still got plenty of those. You get real good value for money in, in the garden ornaments section. Um, get groups of them for between 30 and 50 pounds. A nice pair of um, garden cannons, they're quite good. 2717. I think estimate on those is probably 100 to 150 or so for the pair. Um, nice sort of Howard style two seater settee. That looks comfy as well. You can probably sink right into the back of that one. <laughs> and then just um, by the entrance here, again, as we came in, something that really catches your eye, where we've got a few antique copper baths here. So two, two of the old style bateau baths. And one more modern ceramic version. Some nice plant stands as well. Look at that, tons of furniture. <laughs> and this is nice. A huge cast iron base on this. So it's, a, um, it's been converted into a water feature with a um, concrete top, but really nice cast iron heron base on that. And really, if you didn't like the water feature, you can take out the concrete top and you've got a nice jardinier for the garden. Beautiful thing. Don't see those very often. And I think that had to come down quite a number of steps to get it out of the original house. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I don't think they were too happy when they collected it, but that's what we're here for. So um, please do have a look through the catalogue. The sale is on Wednesday and Thursday. Each day starts at 9.30 in the morning um, and just see what you can find in the catalogue. Thank you very much.